Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Mrs. Espinosa and I am a kinder teacher in Texas. So I haven't vlogged these past two weeks, y'all, because it's just been testing, testing, and paperwork. Last week was the STAR exam for third, fourth, and fifth graders. Luckily, I was not like an actual test administrator this year, so I was just helping with like teacher breaks and if the teachers like just needed to step out of the classroom. So when I wasn't helping with the testing, I got to do a little bit more cleaning up in my classroom. So this is gonna be like the first year that I'm done packing up way before the last day of school. And I think today I will get it done. Yesterday I cleaned out my student desks and because of COVID, this was the first year that my students, that I experienced students having desks. And I honestly like did not, like I saw how messy with papers their desks were, but I just, just didn't want to deal with it <laughs> until yesterday. And y'all, it was disgusting. I had to put gloves on. The first desk that I cleaned, it was just a lot of papers, but then that second one I got to, like as soon as I put my hand in there, there was like sticky purple stuff on my fingers. So I washed my hands and then I put on gloves to clean out the rest of their desks. And yeah, like they were disgusting, y'all. There was like crumbs and like food and papers. And one girl had spilled milk inside of her desk. So like all of her pages were stuck together and she ruined like a few of my readers. So I had to toss, I had to toss them away. Like it was just three, but uh, I was not happy with that friend. But yeah, so their desks are basically cleaned out. The only thing I kept in there were their yellow folders. We started talking about the solar system last week. So we've just been reading like about planets. So they have these little solar system graphic organizers. They're similar to what I've been doing for insects and ocean animals. Yeah, we did the moon, Mercury, Venus, and then yesterday we did Earth. So yeah, we have like five more planets left. So that's really the only work we'll be doing, like whole group. So the only two things that will be in their yellow folders are the little organizer for the solar system and their morning work, which we already started June. It took me longer than I thought to clean out their desk, but I'm glad that it's done. And then I took their baskets too. So I need to organize all of the stuff, all of the centers that were in their desk and their baskets. So look at this mess, y'all. This is what my desk looks like right now. I was just telling them to dump their activities here and to go wash out little bins. So I think most of them did. Um, but either way, I'll wipe them down one more time. And then I'm really excited about next week. I just got done talking to my principal because I want to do a glow week. I don't know if you guys have heard about glow day or have seen other teachers do it, but the kinder teacher that was actually in here before me did a glow day and it was like, that was the first time I heard about it. And then I've seen a couple of posts, um, on the teacher Facebook groups from other teachers that have done it. The main reason I hadn't done it, well, last year was my first year in kinder, like I couldn't have done it with that group, but it's definitely more feasible this year. I just didn't know what kinds of black lights to get, but this one teacher on a Facebook group shared that she bought these little black light bars, which I need to take out of my car, and then you just plug them in. So I bought three of them. I don't think it'll be like, I don't know how many I'll need in here. I need to bring them into the classroom to see how much they'll light up and how many more I'll need to get. They were about $11 each, but, and I'll show you guys when I bring them in the classroom. So for me, like it is gonna be kind of a splurge, but I think it'll be worth it. And it's something that I'll definitely try to do every year. So it'll be like a good investment in my opinion. So I'm totally gonna splurge on those black lights. So yeah, I let my principal know that's what I wanted to do and that I just want the desks out of here for the last two weeks because my kids, they like working on the floor. I know that the gym teachers have yoga mats. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for the last two weeks. She said it was okay for me to take out the desks. I just need to put them in an empty classroom. That's on my to-do list. And another thing that I asked her, I've seen other teachers paint their classroom. The last day for teachers is Monday, June 14th. So I think I'm just gonna come in that day and like just paint my classroom walls. Yeah, not like a super big fan of that bright orange. So I'm going to be painting my walls. Well, the color paint is called Sassy Lilac. It's just a really light, calm purple. It's like the purple that I have. I just painted one wall in my little 
office space at home, it's gonna be that same color. And it's great because that brand, I can't remember, I think it's Valspar, the brand of paint that I bought, but it's great because it already includes the primer, so I don't have to buy it separately. So I'm excited that I'll get to do that on that Monday. And my Alex is gonna have the day off on Monday, so I already asked him if he can help me. So I'm excited. Oh, and I haven't talked about today. So today is Friday, and we don't have any students in the classroom. The school district designated this day as an asynchronous learning day, so we don't, we're not teaching virtually. My kids took home all of their unfinished work. Um, they have their big blue math book that they still need to finish, so they have plenty of work to do. So that's what my kids should be working on today, and we don't have school on Monday, so next week will only be a four-day week anyway. So the plan is to review sight words on one day, CBC words, and then a math day, and then that Friday can be like just a science free play day. And some materials that we'll be using, we have a ton of pom-poms, Play-Doh, and highlighters. Like that's really all you need. I'm just gonna put a lot of my activities that are in here so I'm not buying anything extra for Glow Day, like I'm just reusing whatever I have as a review. So yeah, I think that's all I wanna fill you in on for right now. I'm gonna get all of this stuff organized first, then I'll start taking out the desks out of the classroom. There's some stuff that I need to take out from under here, like those are all student notebooks from last year. Yeah, just reorganize a little bit in this part and put my little wobble chairs, my little wobble stools, I can fit them in here. Yeah, it's a little bit past nine, it's almost like nine ten. So yeah, let's see what all I can get done. So it just took me a little bit over an hour to clear out all of my desk and to just sort everything. Some of the stuff that I had in baggies were the lacing letters that my kids were using for their sight words. I just left them in their baggie so I don't have to resort because every baggie had vowels and just all of the letters they needed to spell out those sight words. So I don't want to redo all of that next year. So I just left it in their baggies and put it in a big Ziploc. I had some letter recognition activities. I just threw all of them into one big Ziploc and then into my letter recognition bin. So the only things that I left on my table are these two boxes that are full of crayons. And this year I'm gonna donate them to this organization called Crayons Initiative. And yeah, they recycle the crayons and they give them to kids that are in hospitals. Only thing is that you do have to pay like out of pocket for the shipping, but it is way better than throwing them in the trash, in my opinion. So I'm gonna put that in my car at some point today so I can ship that out. And then I have some white poster board paper that my kids are gonna use for next week and this big tub of highlighters that one of the office staff <laughs> let me borrow for next week. And then this is just, I need to get rid of this. But I guess now I'm going to start taking out the chairs. I'm going to put the kids' things just here on the floor against the wall. And then I need to get rid of all of those notebooks and just make a little bit of extra space for storage and put my stools in there too. I can see the student that sat here has a pencil shaving collection going on here. So I need to clean this part out a little bit too. So I can put my orange wobble stools in there. All right, let's get started on that.
y'all it's about 11 40 oh my goodness look at my empty classroom i'm basically all packed up i'm ready to go i really love how open it feels and i'm like super impressed with my <laughs> With my packing skills like I've managed to find every nook and cranny to store my things I emptied out this little part because that's where my fridge will go you know at the very on the very last day that I come to paint my room like I'll go ahead and put my fridge away so that's that big space for that um, yeah this is this was like my library seating and my communal crayon caddies this is a new library that we got towards the end of last school year before COVID, so I haven't gotten a chance to sort it, nor do I have a space for all these books, so I don't know. We will just see how I get that sorted next year. And I have level D and E books in there for guided reading, and then just some personal stuff here. There's some clothes that I found that I need to get rid of. Um, but yeah that's basically what it looks like these are all good to go they're clean and sanitized so that's a perfect space for those um let's see i should have another two pillows of these like in my old classroom so i'm going to see if i can find them so they can use them next week um what do we have here kinder certificates this is a pile that i'm going to get rid of with my kids like it'll just be extra practice for them it's just extra copies that i've accumulated so that's really all I need to get rid of is just like all this, this extra copy stuff. I'm going to go ahead and give my kids these, these little hundred board charts. They love writing their numbers all the way to a hundred. Like I had no idea how much they would love it. And, but they've kind of like torn them apart. So I guess I'll just get like a new set of these for next school year. And they can just take these home and this is stuff that my kids were like that was in their desk that they didn't take home but yeah this is all the stuff that I took out of their desks so that's that's where it's gonna stay if they need to get something it'll just be against this wall but yeah all of my stuff up here is organized my books are kind of sorted I'm not gonna label them <laughs> and maybe it'll get done at some point but I'm not worrying about it I emptied out this box that was in there these are extra books that we got like my kids already have a set of the free books just want to keep them for next year's kids like I don't know if we'll get this opportunity again to get like a donation of books so I'm just gonna hold on to it this stuff right here is gonna be my giveaway pile for the kids um, these are notebooks that I need for next year so I need this is like the only stuff that I need to find a space for. My teacher card is empty, but this is the black table cover thing that I put all over my stuff so it doesn't get dusty over the summer. My kids need to take home their little shark artwork. Few more boxes here, my magnetic letters, my small group stuff. Um, it might have to go under the sink. Like y'all, I even have stuff under the sink. <laughs> jars and stuff some binders but yeah i'll probably put my microwave here and then pile stuff on top and then let me show you what this closet turned out to look like so i put our curriculum in here this is stuff that i'm going to use i've been using the megaphone for this missile i was gonna curl my hair yesterday but then i didn't so i just need to take my curling iron home i'm going to get my kids little goodie bag set up this is gonna be for next week for the glow week so i got this jumbo pack of like glow in the dark stuff what else and everyone is just gonna get like one of these the light sticks sometimes they don't all work so yeah i just got a big bag of 40 candy for their little end of year treat bags we're gonna take one of these home for their end of year treats what else i'm gonna set this up for the door but it, that'll be like the last week of school we were building 3d shapes with marshmallows and toothpicks earlier in the week then we'll have a day where we do magnets i want to write them cards to go in their goodie bags but this is just an extra caddy that i unpacked that i totally forgot i had these are little black string bags. These were extra from school, so I'm 
totally hoarding these for school field trips in the future. And I got my border organized. So I'm not going to buy any more border. Like, this is a good selection. I haven't used this one yet. Or the rainbow. The rainbow is just really cute. Like, that's literally the only reason I bought it. I don't know if I'll use it. But it's just really cute from Lakeshore. All of these are from Lakeshore. Um, this is usually, like, the themed bulletin boards that I do. And just, I... As you can see, I really like the shiny border. One more other thing I need to do is get rid of my bulletin board outside the classroom. And this is the border that I'm using, so I'll just stick it back in here. Our school administrators made us brunch. The hunger is kind of kicking in, so let me take a break and charge my phone. And I need to get the black lights out of my car and then just kind of see how bright the black lights are. So I need to get bulletin paper but in black and put it on that window. And all right, y'all, let me take a break and I'll check back in with you after. All right, y'all, so it's like 2.20, so I took like a really long break. Brunch was delicious. This was like the best it's ever been. Our admin made us fresh egg scrambles with spinach and mushrooms and bacon and croissants and fruit. It was delicious. Now I smell like bacon though. I was just talking to lots of teachers and then there was like some last minute things that I had to do just right now online. But anyway, okay, I finally went to go get the paper to cover the window and let me show you the black light. So I have three of these black lights that I got from Walmart. They were about like $11 a piece. I don't, this is like the only kind that they had anyway, but they're pretty cool, like they're very long. It's a 24 inch black light, fluorescent, hyper tough. And yeah, like you just have to plug it in. Made sure at home that they were working in case I had to go like return them or exchange them. And then the Walmart that I went to only had three anyway. So we'll see how lit up it gets. I may have to get more over the weekend. Let me get the black bulletin to cover that window. I don't know how good the footage for that will be since it was really dark and I'm not wearing anything white so I probably didn't light up. Okay, so the only thing I have to do now is go get the yoga mat. Excited for the kids to come in on Monday. They're gonna be like, what? What's up with our classroom? Highlighters show up really cool on the whiteboard so I'm sure they'll just knock themselves out just with the whiteboards alone. I have like half an hour left. I'm trying to get out of here at 3.15. Okay, let me go get the yoga mats and then just pack up and head out. Miss Mo and I have like a couple other things to do but all right y'all like i'm excited i'm so excited for next week so stay tuned i will definitely vlog next week and just let y'all know how it went that is it thank you so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed me clean up some more and that y'all enjoyed my little prep for the glow week so stay safe and stay tuned i will see y'all next week